Oh, that's kill. Come on. Oh, that's a... <laughs> what up, what up? We're here with the Baseball Bat Bros, and today, the fans have been asking, we got you. The Goods Two Piece versus the Goods One Piece. Let's get it. All right, folks, here we got the Goods Two Piece and the Goods One Piece. So we're at a point in the year where the Goods and the Voodoo One Piece are very, very hard to find. So today we wanna give the Goods One Piece a shot. Theoretically, this is gonna be a pretty medium swing weight compared to like a really heavy end load of the goods and a really kind of easy to swing light swinging voodoo one this is going to be more in that middle range kind of similar to the voodoo two piece but this is going to be a pretty stiff and rigid version let's see if the 300 much cheaper more durable goods one piece is going to be a good alternative to a bat like the goods two piece here or even if it could be a decent replacement for the voodoo one we'll see how that swing weight comes into play here so between these two bats really the main difference is just the handle here uh you have a two piece high hybrid with a composite handle and an alloy barrel with the goods and just because of that weight distribution lighter weight heavier weight you're gonna have a much more end loaded build that's your typical difference from a hybrid to a one piece whereas a all one piece alloy design is typically going to be a bit more balanced swinging and this is actually a pretty exaggerated build where this is going to be quite a bit heavier swinging than the goods one piece whereas like the voodoo two piece and the voodoo one piece are actually pretty close so besides the weighting the flex and the feel of the ball on contact is going to be quite a bit different on this goods 2b so i mean let's see if this is worth it i mean you're gonna save a hundred dollars so here we go the goods one piece versus the goods two piece let's get it and we're out here on the beautiful giant sherwood high school field today way out there in center we got 396 to the gaps we got 376 down the line we got 320 i'm going for the scoreboard shot today fellas let's go all right folks starting out with the bat we know is good uh, one of the most pop, probably the single most popular BB Core baseball bat this year, the Goods Two Piece from D Marini. Let's set a benchmark here, then we'll move on to the Goods One Piece. See if it can hang. See if it's a good bang for your buck for hundred dollars less. It's going to be a lot more durable too. Biggest red flag with the Goods Two Piece: this connector piece breaks a lot, and the handle will collapse into the barrel, and you're going to get some barrel rattles as well. So it's expensive, kind of a durability liability, but it launches the ball, and that's a giant freaking barrel self-declared huge sweet spot good start come on ball oh ground will double i'll take sure. that all day sure bro that's between the 396 that and the too. 376 that's a good 380 folks come on that's and guys really this is kind of a continuation of our does flex in the handle matter type of video. That is so much better. First hack, I swear it's somehow way different. We did that Voodoo 1 versus Voodoo 2 piece and the stiffness really helped with that lighter swinging bat. But the more I'm exploring this kind of topic, does flex matter, the more I'm starting to think it really just depends on the bat and there's no conclusive answer if like a one piece or a two piece is better. Uh, going into this, I think the Voodoo two piece is the clear favorite, whereas the Voodoo one piece kind of whooped up on the two piece Voodoo. See, that's off the hands a little bit. Oh, wall ball. Wow. Easy all right. Today. Easy. Oh, oh, come on. Started off with the bang. The play gone. Let's go! Yep. So the Goods is a pretty heavy and loaded swinging bat, but it kind of compensates. It has a really good sweet spot performance towards the hands, really similar to like the Meta Power. You can get beat and still get a ball pretty well if you hit it down here, which is kind of the make it or break it with a really end loaded bat. Like, for example, I'm gonna throw some shade like the Dirty South Filthy, really end loaded, or like the Moab, for example. If you got it towards the hands, it freaking rung you up bad and it wasn't very good on this hit performance down here. So if you have a heavy bat, you want it to be at least friendly if you're gonna get beat by a fastball. Oh yeah, cool ball. Yes, sir. Wow, that was honestly off like inner yeah. mount. That might be it! Come on, ball! No! Oh, that was pieced. 
see, even that was like a ball I kind of had to bring my hands in on. And this bat can freaking launch it if you get jammed a little bit. Yeah. Ooh. Got that. Let's go! Ah. <laughs> Oh, that killed, bro. That's all I can do. <laughs> Ground rule double again. Oh, yeah. yep. No way. Ah, oh, too far left. I thought you were close to the scoreboard. Oh. Whoa! That's way out. Oh. Not quite. Oh, there it is. The goods two feet. I freaking like knuckled that ball. That wasn't even oh. back spun. Let's go. All right, moving on to the goods one piece. Cool looking bat this year. We got the blue and the gold. This is just gonna be a lighter, much more stiff and rigid, a little bit less forgiving version of the goods. It's gonna be cheaper and more durable. So that's definitely a benefit. Let's see if it's comparable. Let's check it out. That's good. It's so much louder. And if you miss the barrel by that much, you feel it in the hands. Much more rigid. I see what you're saying. They're way lighter though. I'm freaking snapping way earlier with this. Quite a bit easier to get around. Ooh, there we go. Too hot. Oh, that. Oh, you're coming out there a little bit. Oh, that kill. Come on. Oh, that's a. Whew. That's a shot, too. We'll have to velo test these. I do think the Goods two piece has a much more forgiving barrel, and you just have a lot more room to work with. I mean, this is just a pretty typical two piece hybrid to a wider swinging one piece setup. You're gonna have a much more rigid, less room to work with, wider swinging bat. Smaller sweet spot, easier to swing, not quite as much juice just because there's not really as much backbone behind it. Which is weird because the Voodoo One Piece is the lighter bat and a totter, whereas this is gonna be more traditional of a setup. That Voodoo One Piece is different, man. That's like an outlier in the BB Core space, I feel like. Yeah. Let's go. Right over the 376. Right over. See, if you get that one spot, bro, like it's almost as hot. There's just way less area for you to like barrel the ball. Yeah. It's good. Like it's a really good bat. I just like, if I got both of these for free, if I have both of them in front of me, if I have to pick, I'm swinging the goods. This is going to be more practical though all day. This is cheaper and more durable and it still gets the job done this is like a really solid bat i'd put it up there with like the 5150 this like if it didn't run into the voodoo one this could have potentially been like a final four contender in one piece bat madness it just ran into the best bat in the tournament i mean i feel like i can't get it better than that yeah not quite man not quite <laughs> All right, fellas, so before we make any final conclusions about the goods one piece and the goods two piece, let's head over to the exit velo tester to see how these two are looking and see if kind of what we're speculating is true about this being a little bit hotter and more forgiving, but heavier. This being easier to control, a bit more rigid, tight, less forgiving barrel, maybe a little less juice behind it, but again, just easier to control. So let's head over to PBC, get on the exit velo tester. Let's see what these are at. Ninety-nine-five. It's a good start. All right. Ninety-nine. Oh, that's touched. Ninety-five for three seventy-two, bro. That's a move. One hundred three. Oh my lord. Even that's kind of out over the plate off the end. 94, 3, 367. That's crazy, man. Ooh. 96. Ninety-five. 
Oh my god! Ninety-nine-five, three-sixty-four. Oh, Lord! Oh, that's one hundred two. Oh, dang it! You finally got a little back enough. Yeah, three ninety-three. Oh. Three ninety-three. Oh, that's a good one. Ah, yeah, freaking that! You're not feeling anything on the two-piece with that. That run pretty bad. Ninety. Yeah, 92. 354. Okay, so that was a similar ball where I hit it like 370 with. 91, 354. Theoretically, they're supposed to be super similar bats, but way different feel. Needs to be 100. 97 1. 96. Oh, that's touched. That's as hard as I'm hitting it. 97 1 again. 356. Oh, that's trouble. 103.4. Wow. That's touched. 91 3. Yeah, this is this is a bat where pretty much no matter where you hit it, you're gonna experience some sort of feedback or some sort of weird sound off the barrel. Uh, there's like maybe like a centimeter where it feels like just complete butter, but you're getting feedback a lot on this. A lot of people like that though. Ninety-four. It's a typical BB core trade-off. It's gonna be lighter swinging, not gonna hit the ball as hard, a tighter, less forgiving sweet spot, a lot heavier swinging, hits the ball harder, much bigger, much more forgiving sweet spot. And the flex really doesn't seem to have much of an impact except it's more forgiving. Whereas with the voodoos, the one piece, the stiffness really seemed to help with that more balanced swing of a bat. You can't really say overall a one piece is better or a two piece is better. I really think it depends on what bats you're swinging. All right, Zach, so we got the goods one piece, we got the goods two piece. So you're a senior in high school. Actually, let's say you're in college. That's probably a little more realistic for a guy like you. So this bat's $300, this bat's $400. This bat has some known durability issues with that connector piece. At the end of the day, you've seen the velos, you know how these both swing. What are you picking up for your season? I'm picking up the goods two piece for yeah. sure if I can, but still, this is a really good bat. Yeah, it's especially. solid. If you need to settle for that, that's a good bat. Yeah, great bang for your buck, too. Yeah. Really durable, like what you talked about. Mm -hmm. um, this, a little bit more forgiving. Yeah. 100% the two piece. But the one piece, when you get it, it's going to go. They're honestly both about the same. Yeah. So um, both are great bats, but don't don't put down the one piece too much. Yeah, don't sleep on the goods, don't fellas. Don't sleep on it. All right, fellas, then for me, these are both gonna be, you know, on the end loaded side of the spectrum, I feel like. This is pretty middle of the road. This is probably gonna be about a five on the bat bro scale. This is gonna be clear down like a three or a two. So like, if you really want a light swinging contact bat, I wouldn't get either of these. There's better options for that. I'd look at the Voodoo one. I'd look at the Victus Vandal, Easton Maxim 360, Warstick Bone Saber, something more like that if you really want more of a light swinging bat. But between these two, this is almost just like the practical budget version of this really and I, and I mean it makes sense but like really if i'm if i'm in a game setting i don't really care about maybe having to buy a couple of these because uh this is a little bit suspect durability and this is a little bit heavier swinging and i'm probably willing to spend the extra money just to get more barrel i feel like if i get beat or a little bit fooled if i'm out in front this is going to reward me a lot more i'm going to put up better power numbers get a lot more knocks and like extra base hits on off balance swings and whatnot um, I think just this is going to benefit you in a game a lot more. I think there's a reason you see people swinging this a lot more than this. It's a pretty drastically different feel, honestly. Uh, if you want a one piece and you specifically like this type of feel, I personally like the Stinger Nuke or the Voodoo one better. Uh, but in the two piece hybrid game, if it weren't for durability, this would be like in the top three for sure on the list. It's at number seven in our top 20 rankings just because uh, the handle breaks every now and then. But if it wasn't for that, this thing would be high up. This, I mean, this is the most popular bat in BB Core for a reason. So out of these two, I'm for sure going with the goods two piece today. But if you swing the goods one piece, man, then like, I can see why you like it. It's easier to control and you still can do some damage if you get on the barrel there.
And fellas, big shout out to the man, Hype Harrison, shot by Hype on YouTube. Go give him a subscription, fellas. Awesome, awesome channel. He does a lot of day in the life videos for uh, really talented ball players. Came all the way out from North Carolina right. to get some bat barrel footage, baby. Let's go. All right, fellas, thanks for hanging out today. If you liked the video, we'd really appreciate it if you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to help support the Bat Bros, you can always check out our merch over at BaseballBatBros.com. That's also where we have our top 20 BB Core rankings, even some USSA composite and alloy rankings. Go give those a look, fellas. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you all next time. Peace out. Best bunting BB core that's ever been made.